I, I think it's important we continue to challenge ourselves. You don't want to lay on your deathbed and wonder what if. People that are new to Founders, this is all they know is this, you know, this right. beautiful facility, but they don't know the 12 the years 12 of strugg years. <laughs> struggles. And I remember you and I talking, saying, we have to differentiate ourselves. And if we're going to go down, we may as well brew beer we want to drink, which led to creating beers like Dirty Bastard. That was the first one out of the gate. And then the immediate success of Dirty Bastard allowed us to be a little reckless. And being reckless was the thing that allowed us freedom. It certainly was a huge what if to start a brewery, but I think the real what if started at that point when we realized that it was better to carve out your own path, chase after your own dreams, uh, because you differentiated yourself, I think, in a way. And that's when we first realized that people were falling in love with what we were doing. You know, we had brands like All Day and Solid Gold even way back. And of course, solid gold at the time was a nail and it was to satisfy those really looking for a lighter beer. But all day, I can remember the conversation of, you know, can we make a founder style beer, full flavored, but under, you know, 5% or lower ABV. And again, we looked inward and outward from that came one of America's greatest beers. Barrel aging was just kind of a weird idea. I was like, oh, it's novel. I think it was one of those no harm, no foul. <laughs> Our sales were shit. So yeah, I was like, I we was. may as well just try it. Yeah. And I remember after the beard aged for, you know, a month yeah. and then um, just trying it, we're like, whoa, we might have we something here. We stumbled across something yeah. here. You know, this new generation, craft is all they will ever know. And so from when we started the brewery, when they were just literally, I think, about 300 breweries, and now there's 8,000. So the access to great beer is huge. That's why I think Solid Gold's the right beer at the right time, because no one's challenging some of those um, heritage brands that have been out there for years and years. And I think we're the brewery to take it to the next level and start looking at a whole new audience. As we look to the future and, and how to bust through the ceiling and, and build America's next greatest brewery, it's just that. We are going to have to double down, put a lot of resources into building brands. Look at our brand, look at the, the folks that we've got working for us, look at the trajectory, and then go, what if Founders had its name next to Anheuser-Busch, and Coors, and Miller, and Pat, some of these just great iconic brands, like who's out there to stop us? You know, to, to build America's next greatest brewery, enormous challenge. Um, but it just puts a huge smile on my face because I think that is going to be one hell of an adventure. <laughs>